might be able to implement this year to make a serious reduction in the amount of trash, which you know, I wish it was different, but it's not. It's, you know, it's, it's gruesome, the amount of trash that we have blowing around. Not all home generated. A lot of it comes from other locations, but we have to start where we can. And if we can eliminate our own generation of trash, or at least make sure that the trash ends up where it's supposed to end up, then I think that's a significant step. Uh, the second thing I want to talk about is tax appeals. And I wish, like everybody else, that we didn't need to have tax appeals, but I start from the proposition that everybody is entitled to a fair assessment. And that's what the law says. And everybody is entitled to appeal their taxes if they feel their assessment is not proper. And there's a mechanism to do that. And I don't think that the city should ever do anything to discourage people from exercising their legal rights. We may not be happy with the results, but you know, the reason people get reductions is because they're entitled to reductions. Their assessments were simply too high. One of the things that was mentioned some meetings back, and I think it was by Chris Hagel, but I'm not sure, during the public portion, was uh, his questioning of why during last year's tax appeals, as part of settling a tax appeal, the taxpayer was asked to also agree not to appeal the following year. And he didn't understand where that came from. And at that time, I commented that, to me, as a matter of policy, that made no sense. Now, as we all know, we're looking at getting the reval on the books next year. If we're able to do that, and I certainly hope we are, uh, then this will be a mood issue at least for that year. But uh, there's a possibility that the reval won't go on the books for, tw for 2013. And if that happens, I don't want anybody who's appealing this year to be confronted with having to make the decision or make a concession that they won't appeal next year. That's, it should be their right. It should be every taxpayer's entitlement. If you want to appeal your taxes this year, and you're able to get a settlement, to me that means that it's conceded that your assessment was too high and you've reached a, an accommodation. It shouldn't mean that next year, if the reval's not on the books, that you'd be prevented from appealing your taxes then. So what I'd like to ask fellow council members to do is to join me in adopting a resolution expressing as a matter of policy that in the 2012 round of tax appeals, however a tax appeal gets resolved, we are not going to ask anyone to waive or relinquish whatever rights they have next year, if they have them, and again, if there's a reval and it comes on in time, it, it won't matter, but ask them, not ask them to waive or relinquish any rights to bring an appeal in 2013 if they feel that that's appropriate. Rick, I don't know if you discussed this with uh, the city solicitor. To, I did not. To get his uh, opinion on it, since he is the one defending the tax appeals? Uh, no, he did not. If he had, I would tell him that um, working multi-year deals in tax appeals is very standard. Um, it's done all the time, plain and simple. Uh, when you have a tax appeal, there isn't an exact number that a property is worth. There's a range. Uh, often, the city of Brigantine's professionals feel that the range is somewhat higher than the property owner. In order to come to a resolution, what we say to them is, listen, We'll go down a little bit lower towards the range that you're looking for, but we're doing the reval for 2013, so you agree not to file next year. It wasn't mandatory. It was voluntary. Some taxpayers chose not to do that. That was their right. Most of them did. Now, for someone to come in who wasn't part of that process and try to undo it, I think is a little short-sighted and not very smart. You heard the uh, auditor say that one of the main things driving the budget and any tax increase was the tax appeals. So to take away a mechanism from the city to try to be fair, but also uh, be somewhat stabilizing in the amount of appeals that are filed and the amount of loss due to those appeals, I think is short-sighted and not too intelligent. Um, may I respond to that? Tim, I'm not clear. Are you saying that I am short-sighted and not intelligent in bringing this up? I think that idea is short-sighted and not intelligent. Yeah. Tim, it's my idea. Short-sighted and not intelligent. You're, you're directing that to me. I just want to be clear. I guess I am. Well, Tim, I think you might want to check on the law because whether or not multi-year appeals or <clears throat> excuse me, resolutions happen in your experience, my understanding of the law is that the assessment for a property cannot be set until October 1st of the year preceding the year of assessment. That by definition, you cannot agree now what the assessment of a property is going to be in 2013. So you might want to check on that before you... Well, I think you're wrong about that. It's done well, all the time. Do me a favor and check that. I know it's done all the time, and I also know that the law doesn't permit that. 
further, my direction or my question of counsel was, as a matter of policy, I think we should do that. I don't think it's right that people would be confronted with giving up their rights, which they clearly have under the Freeze Act. And well, again, I, it's understood I, in a revalue year that I doesn't apply. It, I take exception to the word confronted. No one was confronted. Were people allowed to settle the appeal if they declined to waive their rights for the following year? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And they did, some of them. And a number of people didn't. A number and at of least one did. person came in and questioned why he, had, why he was being asked to do that in the first place. One out of 1,400, correct. Okay, so one person appears here, so your conclusion is that everybody was perfectly delighted with that process. <clears throat> I didn't say that. Well, I'm trying to get an understanding of what exactly your impression of the process was. When we have somebody that appears before us and says that they were not happy with that, and I know that in my view, as a matter of policy, that is not something the city should be asking of people. If you're selling an appeal for the city and we're selling it, that's because we feel that the number is within the acceptable range. If next year, based on whatever circumstances may come to pass, that number is no longer valid or the taxpayer feels it may no longer be valid, I don't think there's any reason why we should have gotten from them, and whatever you want to use the word, confronted or any word, but we have taken from them the right to appeal the following year. I just think that's wrong. I think as a matter of policy, we can and should say, if it comes to pass that in 2013 the reval is not on and an individual taxpayer feels that they have an assessment that's still too high, they should be able to appeal it. It shouldn't be a condition of them getting their entitlement, their just rights in 2012, to give up rights in 2013. That is a matter of policy. That's a matter that the council will decide. Right. That, that, that's your opinion. I respectfully disagree. 